Hey everyone, this is Miss Valentine, and you are watching the Ecology Weekly Rundown for the week of November 30th through December 6th. If you picked up a checklist on your way out on November 20th, on Friday, November 20th, you may want to modify your checklist because I did change it a little bit since we found out that we were going all digital. That being said, while we are all digital, I recommend that you write down the assignments on a piece of notebook paper, maybe title it Ecology Work This Week, and then just write down at least these four things on the side because these are the four things that you will need to turn in um, if you're not able to print a copy of the checklist. Some other changes um, that are happening this week. We will be meeting on Google Meet on Monday and Wednesday. Uh, on Monday, we will watch this video and then start the 9.2 notes. I'll do those live with Nearpod. And then um, we will finish up those notes in live class on Wednesday. I tried to make it easier to access live class. So if you open up the weekly schedule and checklist, which is uh, at the link on the top of the page in Schoology, or you can also check this course links folder for the links to those Google Meets. So either way, you will be able to click on these links to go directly to the class meeting and the times are even there on the schedule and on Schoology as well. All right, so let's go over the assignments for the week. And that would be, um, section 9.2, which is a pretty short section. Uh, there is an outline for that section. Again, pretty short and make sure you do the two figures to get full credit. And then the 9.2 notes, you may have a printed notes packet from when we were in school, if you were there on the 20th. If you were not, you're going to need to do a digital copy. Um, well, you could print it out at home if you want to, but the digital copy is where you are going to turn in your assignment no matter how you do it. So if you have a printed copy, I put instructions at the top here that says if you have a printed copy, follow these instructions, and that tells you exactly how to submit your, um, your paper. If you are doing a digital copy, you will just double click on the highlighted blanks to fill in the blanks while we do the notes. And I recommend, again, splitting your screen, um, having the notes handout on the right side, and having another window open with either the Google Meet or the video that you are watching on the left side, so you can see both of them at the same time. So that's the notes for this week. Remember to also do the five sentence summary at the end. A lot of times people forget that and they only get half credit. So that is the notes for this week. The next assignment is a video, which we will watch on Wednesday during live class if we have time. And that is the human population crash course video. Um, and this one, you will just get out a sheet of notebook paper, write down 10 facts, and then upload those using the PDF app. If you forget how to submit using Evernote, Scannable, or Genius Scan, I put links right there in the assignment, and I also included them on your weekly assignment checklist. I will probably do that as long as we are in digital school, since you will be submitting all of your assignments electronically for now. The final assignment is not a test or a quiz this week. It is actually a web quest. And in the web quest, you are going to look at different aspects of population and demography. The first part is actually a separate file though. If you see right here, it says Nat Geo population quiz, first part of WebQuest. You are going to take this quiz. Um, it looks a little different for me, but you're gonna take the quiz and then look over your answers because what the, the quiz is for is a question on the web quest. So the quiz itself does not count for a grade, but you are supposed to look at the answers and write down what surprised you about the answers. Now this one, again, there are some people who have a printed copy, so you can use that, um, but you will submit it through the Google Doc. Those of you doing it electronically, you'll notice question one, uh, or you, I'm sorry, those of you doing it electronically will type in the highlighted blanks. Um, and like I was mentioning, the quiz that you took is not worth points, but you are going to use it to answer this question. What fact from the quiz surprised you the most? Most. It shouldn't take you more than like a couple minutes to do the quiz. So um, just know that it's at a separate link in the Schoology folder. So it's um, just above the WebQuest link in the Schoology folder. And there it is. I also recommend that you do the uh, WebQuest all in one sitting. Don't start it and then finish it the next day because at the end of the web quest, it's going to ask you to calculate the number of people that have been added to the human population since you started the web quest. And if you do it over the 
overnight, um, you're going to have to add a lot more math to it. So I highly recommend it once you start the web quest, finish it out all in one sitting so that you have an easier time with that math problem. All right, that's all I have for you. Um, keep on working on any missing assignments that you have and submit those on Schoology since the quarter is ending on December 18th. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me and I hope you guys have a good week.